Hello, family and friends. Um, I am going to make a video today to kind of say thank you to everyone in the entertainment industry that's got no stage. Uh, actually, the internet is their stage anymore, it seems like. The only way to connect to the fans. Um, Pat, I saw your show. I saw the Bernie Sisters show. And I've been watching uh, the Larkin Poe shows. Always got to catch Uncle Teddy. I, I love those. Um, but it a lot of the times it's free entertainment. And, uh, of course, I'll go to your merch page and I'll buy whatever. You know, cool. But this is a little video to kind of pay back. I want to entertain you guys, if I can, for a moment. Um, I guess it, it was inspired last week when I was driving south listening to the Larkin Poe live stream, they were talking about, uh, the Lovell sisters were talking about how they used to drive down to, uh, well, up to Chattanooga to their grandparents' house and always had little Debbies. At that point, I realized I had just stopped at the store and bought a box of zebra cakes and had to indulge. Bad choices. Um, but, you know, you can't help but love them. And I thought, what can I do with this to make it better? And I thought, I'm going to try it with my favorite beverage. So we're going to get our little table set up here. It's, yeah, it's short. I think Dad got this, uh, used to be maybe a kindergarten arts table, and the, the kids used to play on it or whatever, do their arts and crafts on it. He bought it at the school sale or something. Now we use it to rebuild transmissions and rotary engines. And collect junk, of course. But here we go. Favorite beverage? Check. Let's get it in screen. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll scoot it out. we got to have a little bit of room. Um, my kids got me this. This is so cool. Uh, the Old Fashioned Dad. And check this out. These are granite ice cubes. You throw them in the freezer, get them nice and chilly, and uh, it never melts. That's, that's just awesome. So what I'm going to do, we'll start first. We have a selection. Um, we'll start with the staple. Boom. Oatmeal cream pie. What I'm going to do is open this thing up, take a little bite, and then uh, take a little shot. And, and we'll see if it's any good. I've got a feeling it might be because I, I want to say the mash for bourbon has... Uh, like a, a malted oats or something, maybe a malted barley in it, and the flavor comes through. And, of course, when you eat it with an oatmeal cream pie, it can't be bad. I generally don't drink this straight. I, I'm, I'm a mixer guy. But let's give this a shot. We'll let that work a little bit. Are you ready? I'm not. Let me take another bite. I don't know. It's okay. I'm going to say that. I'll put it over here with the wrapper. I'll come back to it. We'll circle back on that. Okay, so the Lovell sisters talked about the uh, butters, the butter bars, nutter, nutter butters or something. Little Debbie. These got peanut butter. I'm not a peanut butter fan, but... Uh, what the hell, I'm going to try, right? I was going to have some water to cleanse on my palate, but... Nah, we don't need the water. That stuff will kill you. Okay, here we go. It's pretty good. Yeah, I like that. Oh, no. No, no. No, that doesn't work. No, that's, that's just too much. Um, I don't know, the alcohol. I think it's going to be better with a mixer. I'll, I'll show you the mixer in a minute. This is, this is my favorite, the zebra case. These things will kill me one day. They're going to find my body, wherever it may be. Hope to God it's in a race car on the side of the track that's just rolled about 100 times. <clears throat> At the age of 90, maybe, maybe. 
but uh, I'll probably have one of these in my hand. Okay, I'm going to take a bite of this. This has got to be good. It's basically a, you know, like a birthday cake. It's a vanilla cake with icing in the center. It doesn't get any better. I don't know about that shit. Oh, man. I just can't do that straight with with this. And, and that's even worse. I think the best out of the three was the oatmeal cream pie. But I'm still going to finish this damn thing. Mm. Oh, man. That's so good. So good. Okay. So we're going we're gonna to step away from the straight shooters because that's just not me. I had a buddy of mine. He's on here. Mike Elder, um, he would walk around the barracks with a bottle of Jack Daniels in his hand. Just drink that shit straight. I just can't for the life of me imagine drinking that shit straight out of the bottle. Sherry got me this cup a few years back. This is my favorite cup. Not only because Charles Schultz is, is just, was, uh, just a wonderful dude, Kansas City guy, uh, Everybody loved him, but Snoopy and Woodstock, you don't find better friends than that. These guys are the best. Not only that, though, this cup has a purpose. Do you see the lines? That's your drinking lines. The bottom line, you should just ignore that. We're, we're talking line number two. That's, that's a, a real good place to start. And, it, you know, if you're camping, everyone, Eric and I are on camping weekend, that's the three line. That's the three line. That's your camping line right there. That's when we go out there to the campsite, get all set up, throw the trot line in, and just start getting hammered and catching fish. We gotta catch some fish. But anyway, we're gonna we're gonna pour a little mixer here because uh, that this just too strong to be I, I, drinking straight. I don't mess with that. So we'll go to the two line. There's a two line. It's a lightweight drink. And uh, I used to drink this with Pepsi. Um, that was that was really my go-to. But there's too much sugar in it. So I, I tried, well, Eric brought along some Coke Zero and Pepsi Zero. It just tastes terrible. Terrible. I can't do that. It, I don't know. It's not for me. And my... Uh, my best friend Lee, uh, his wife suggested Sprite Zero. I said, no, Lee's been going to the Sprite Zero stuff. And this is really good. It's a lemony lime and uh, doesn't have any sugar. Don't have to worry about my blood pressure going through the roof. And when I go to work and get mad at people, I don't throw things at them. But uh, let's get this thing poured up here. So we're on the lightweight line. We'll probably just use one can. I'll uh, I'll usually pour it to the uh, pour it to the three line, and then fill it all the way up to the top, and that takes about a can and a half, maybe a little more. I don't know. I don't know. I just eyeball it. But there's our mixer. Oh, that's good stuff right there. That's good stuff. Okay. All right. So now we start over. We start over. We're going to do, I had another one down here, but I didn't eat these, I mean, gosh, that's a lot. But we're going to finish this one off with the mixer, and we'll see how it tastes. That's not bad. That's not bad. We'll see. We'll see. Go on further. I'm, this may not be. This not be. May not be a good. Uh, good combination with the with the whiskey. I just thought it would be a good trial anyway. You can join me with it. Pour your own. Give it a try. Beverage of choice. But let me know what it is. Whether it be vodka or gin, maybe tequila. Some people like that. It's. <laughs> dangerous stuff. Okay. I'm going to wash this down because that's not half bad, really.
that's not too bad. The lemon lime kind of, I don't know, throws it off a little bit. Maybe uh, root beer. I don't know. Okay, we're going to try the peanut butter. Yeah, that's not too bad. Not too bad. The kind of chocolate's almost like a, eating a Reese's, you know. So that's not too bad. I guess the goal is to turn the whiskey or the mixed drink into more of a liqueur flavor. Like when you go wine tasting and they say, here, have this piece of chocolate, a little Hershey's Kiss with your wine. And usually I think it's a port, but I'm, I don't know. I think it's bullshit myself, but people like it. Whatever. They always do the pairing thing. Well, this is a whiskey pairing. How often do you do that, huh? Okay, and finally, the rest of my zebra cake. We'll try this. Uh, it didn't turn out well last time. Not with the shooter. Let's see what we got here. Mm -mm. Nope, nope, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. I guess my zebra cakes are just gonna have to stay Zebra cakes without anything else. Maybe water. I don't know, but definitely not bourbon. And let me remind you, you have to get the one with the handle. We were getting ready to go. Might have been barn out a couple of years ago. Eric calls me up, and he was stoked. Every time we go camping, he's always stoked and ready to go. He's like, okay, I got everything ready. I got the Mike's Hard Lemonade. I got the beer. I got the ice. I got the handle. Or he says, I got your whiskey. He says, it's the one with the handle on it. <laughs> I thought, well, isn't that the one we normally get? Of course, we don't normally get it. I usually generally go to the store and buy it. But, uh, yeah, that's you got to have the one with the handle on it. That's for, you know, serious drinkers. But Uncle Teddy doesn't drink. Um, so we'll just drink for him. But I'm going to sit here and finish this uh, zebra cake. These are my favorites. But uh, shoot me a line if you want something different or something I can do to repay you for all of the free entertainment that we get. Because I, I really, I, I enjoy it. And I'm sure many other people do. Uh, but I hope this ends soon. Uh, things have really changed. I went shopping today for Sherry's birthday stuff and... It was really different, really different. Um, I have not been into the stores. I don't go shopping. I go out. I get my shit done. I may go through the drive through at Mickey D's or something and, and just get a bite to eat for lunch. If I was running the show and I had workers out there like me, I mean, I have a very autonomous job. I would tell them, get your stuff in the morning, get everything rounded up, Go out, get your work done for that day. I mean, there's scheduled tests or, or um, defects that have to be repaired. Get that shit repaired before noon. And I would tell like the, the dispatchers and, and transportation people, you let these folks out, my people are going to be out between 8 o'clock and, and noon, and you're going to let them get their work done. And then when noon comes, you don't stop anywhere, you don't get lunch, you stop for fuel, and you get back home and you wait for the phone to ring. That way you're not out there exposed to the public. You can eat your lunch at home. You know, unfortunately, some of these guys that we've got, you know, they live sometimes 45 minutes away from home. And if, like if I have work, it could be in my job three hours away and then come home. So I'd have to eat lunch outside, you know, out in public. But just going through the drive through I don't really consider that public. But there's still a risk. There's still a risk. So, um, sadly, I don't want to be an asshole, but 
please, for God's sake, stop telling people to be safe or stay safe. That just, it's getting old. Um, I don't know what we're going to say from here on out, but I'm not going to say stay safe. We don't, we're not going to say that. Anymore. I am not anyway. Uh, but just be careful and be mindful. Um, wash your hands, take all the necessary precautions, and uh, drink whiskey. Have a great time, y'all.